solving problems with linear equations. So we have to be able to do these worded questions. We have to be able to sort it out. Sometimes pictures help. Example 9 says for each of the following form the relevant linear equation and solve it for x. So part A says the length of the side of a square is x, in, x minus 6 centimetres. Its perimeter is 52 centimetres. If I have a square, all the sides are the same, x minus 6. Perimeter, I add up all the sides, so there's four of them, have x minus 6, and that's going to be 52. Dividing by 4, I get x minus 6 equals 13, so x equals 19. Part B, the perimeter of the square is 2x plus 8. Area is 100 centimetres squared. So again, I've got a square. The total area is 100 centimetres squared. Well, if this is the total perimeter, then to get one side, I've got to divide by 4. So 2x plus 8 divided by 4 is equal to a side. An area is two sides squared, so it's a side squared. So the area, which is 100, will equal 2x plus 8 all over 4 squared. Now I'll square root the 100, give me plus and minus 10 equals 2x plus 8 divided by 4. Only positive required, as you can't have a negative length. So that means we've got 10 equals 2x plus 8 divided by 4. So we've got 2x plus 8 equals 40. So we get, I'll continue it over here, 2x equals 40 minus 8, which gives us 32. So x will equal 16 centimetres. And this one was centimetres as well. Example 10. Athlete trains for an event by gradually increasing the distance she runs each week over a five-week period. If she runs an extra 5 kilometres each successful week, and over the five weeks runs a total of 175 kilometres, how far did she run in the first week? So we'd better say, let x equal amount of kilometres run in the first week. Then week 2 will be x plus 5. Week 3 will be x plus 10 because she keeps increasing and increasing. Week 4 will be x plus 15 and x plus 20 for week 5. And all together... <coughs> She runs 175. So let's add them all up. So I've got x, x plus 5, plus x plus 10, plus x plus 15, plus x plus 20, or equal 175. So we got collecting like terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we get 5x, plus we've got 20, 35, 40, 50 equals 175. So 5x will equal 125. So x will equal 25 and will be kilometres. A man bought 14 CDs at a sale. Some cost $15 each and the remainder cost $12.50 each. Total he spent $190. How many $15 and how many $12.50 CDs did he buy? So again, we've got to let something equal something. So we'll say let, we can't use C, D, or C for the same thing. So we'll say let N equal number of CDs at $15. And therefore, what have we got left? Well, if there were 14 CDs that the person bought in total, we have 14 minus N equals at $12.50. That's what's left over. So in total, he's got 15 of the ends, and then he's got $12.50 at 14 minus n, and that equals $190. So expanding this, we've got 15n plus 175 minus 12.5 n equals 190 so we get 2.5 n 
plus 175 equals 190, 2.5n or equal 15, so n or equal 6. So he purchased 6 CDs costing $15 each and 14 minus 6 which is 8 CDs costing $12.50.